I am Nodu Mozulu, and I am a woman in science. I hail from a small village from Ulundi and Konjeni, and I'm here at UCT at SIBA, which is a bioprocessing research group where I work as a researcher in the algal biotechnology space. So basically in bioprocessing, we develop production processes in a sustainable manner. We optimize um, the production processes to recover products from biological uh, matter in a sustainable and cost-effective way. And to do this, obviously, they will, you need to have a balance in chemical engineering aspects as well as uh, biotechnology. So you're kind of merging the two fields together. So growing up from a rural setting, I had always been fascinated about how I could actually use science to sort of mitigate some of the pressing issues that we as a community back in Ulundi encountered. So um, I had interest uh, in life sciences. And if I can mention, my father actually played quite a significant role in me pursuing a career or choosing biotechnology as my course to, to further my studies in the university. My father, looking at the aptitude I had in biology, in math, persuaded me to join this field. And I'm forever grateful for his advice because uh, it's been quite uh, an exciting journey for me. Algae, they unicellular cells, and just like plants, they actually carry out photosynthesis. So the important thing here is that when they carry out photosynthesis, they use, they take up carbon dioxide from the environment and release oxygen, preventing global warming. The algal industry as a whole in South Africa is still at its grassroots levels, really. It is not well established, which is a pity because of our conditions here. I mean, we have long uh, summer days with maximum temperatures and algae love these conditions, but we are not there yet in terms of commercializing algal processes. So now our research is divided into various focal areas. So we still are driven by product-based research where we look at producing pigments like phycocyanin, so the blue pigment, which is actually um, used to color the blue smarties. So next time when you buy that box of smarties, you should check, you would see that the blue pigment is from spirulina, which is a blue-green uh, cyanobacteria. Then we're also producing a red pigment, astaxanthin, which um, is actually used in prawn farms to give prawns their color, so improving their market value. And it also has antioxidant properties. And then we couple all this with improvements in bioreactor design. So we are also looking into improving the productivity of microalgae through uh, improving uh, the designs of our reactors. So for an instance, we have our 1,000 litre scale ponds that are in uh, the greenhouse at SIBA. So here we've actually modified um, the bioreactors or the ponds to improve the mass transfer of carbon dioxide into the algal biomass so that we kind of can get uh, an increase in biomass productivity. So this is a patented process and we've just completed testing it with an MSc student. So through the research that I'm conducting here, it's just to demonstrate those uh, capabilities of algae and where we could actually apply algae in our daily lives, you know, to save or reduce the environmental problems that we have. Through the research office, I got to travel to the Netherlands and Wageningen University. These people are like the leaders you know, the best in the algal field. And I got to be exposed to how they conduct their research, you know, what is trending now in, in the algal space. And now we've sort of established a collaboration with them and we're working with them because we would like to also maybe use, adopt their technologies and grow algae, this site using their technologies. What I would say to a young girl 
especially from rural underrepresented uh, groups would be to actually don't let where you come from define you so your background cannot define you i mean i never thought i would be where i am coming from ulundi but i've been rubbing shoulders with uh, the world's best scientists you know so you'd have to do well in math life sciences uh, make sure that you get that uh, background and yeah focus <laughs> also you have to have the passion for it I would look around me, for example, I like to use where I come from as an example of pushing me to discovering products or novel technologies that I could use, I could tap into. What problems are we currently facing as a community or in that small village and how can you use science to sort of come up with solutions to mitigate those problems. <laughs>